Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's Professional here. I was thinking about a new guide that I can make for you guys. I started thinking about heists, and I realized I never made a video talking about the best vehicles to use in heists, and why. So here we go, top 5 best vehicles to use in heists. We are going to be looking at vehicles that have special abilities that greatly help in heists. These are vehicles that you can own, and they can be used across all the different setups and finales. So here we go, I hope you guys enjoy. Starting off at number 5 here, we have the Half Track, which costs 2,254,000, but you can get it for a trade price of 1,695,000 if you complete the MOC mission involving the Half Track. The Half Track can carry 3 people, 1 driver, 1 passenger, and 1 gunner. If you upgrade it all the way, the driver and the passenger are greatly protected from bullets and explosives. The only way to shoot the drivers out would be through the side windows, which are very hard for enemies to shoot through. However, even though the driver and the passenger are safe from a few explosions, the gunner would not be, and would get shot off, so you gotta watch out for those buzzard AIs, because they can fire missiles at you in the helicopters. If you upgrade the gun though, and make it a quad cannon, this is where it comes in handy the most. The quad gun can make short work of enemies on both ground and air. It's extremely helpful, especially in the mission escort ULP, as you guys see here. It is much better than the Chernobog, because for the Chernobog, you need to constantly stop making yourself vul vulnerable to enemies on the ground. With the half track, you do not need to stop, and you can keep going. This gun is extremely helpful at taking out helicopters. I just don't recommend driving this vehicle from place to place if you can avoid it. Use it to clear out areas instead, because if you try to travel with this thing, it's very slow. But even though it doesn't have the speed, it has the firepower. Next at number 4, we have the Insurgent Pickup Custom, which costs 1,795,000, but you can get it for a trade price of 1,350,000 if you complete the Humane Labs Heist. In order to make it custom, you need to take it to your MOC or Avenger and buy the upgrade for 202,000. I personally recommend the 50 cal machine gun over the minigun because it is more powerful per shot. The minigun has a faster fire rate and fires more rounds per minute, but it's not stronger than the 50 cal machine gun. The Insurgent Pickup Custom can carry the whole heist team, and it provides good protection from bullets and explosives. Even the gunner has pretty good protection with a shield behind them. The Insurgent Pickup Custom is pretty fast, and it's extremely helpful in missions where you're being chased by NPCs. You can take anybody out chasing you, no problem, even helicopters easily. It can also clear out areas no problem, but just don't rush in, instead move up and shoot from a distance, because you can still be shot out of this thing. Next at number 3 we have the Weaponized Tampa, which costs 2,108,000, but you can get it for a trade price of 1,585,000 if you complete the MOC mission involving it. The Weaponized Tampa is an extremely underrated vehicle. While this vehicle does not have as much uses in free mode, it excels in heists. It is a fast two-door muscle car that has two remote control miniguns on the top, should you upgrade it. It can also fire missiles, but they don't lock on, and the mortars, it can fire from its back. The miniguns are what you will be using the most. They can rip up any vehicle or NPC trying to kill you. Just look at it during the barrage mission here. On this mission, so many of Avon's goons spawned going after the barrage, but I was able to take each of them out in just a few shots. The weaponized Tampa offers some bullet protection, but not entirely. You can still be shot out of this car easily. If you're going to be using it to clear out an area, same as the Insurgent, do it from a distance. But if you're going to be fighting vehicles, it is very helpful, for clearing a route especially. And its speed is impressive, alongside its firepower. At number 2 we have the Armored Karuma. This vehicle costs the regular price of $698,250, but you can get it for a trade price of $525,000 if you complete the Fleece job. This is the cheapest vehicle on this list as well, and definitely worth the $525,000 price. This is one of the greatest investments you can possibly make. This vehicle can carry the whole heist team up to 4 players, and it's very fast. Not only that, but it offers almost complete bullet protection. The enemies can still hit you, but in very few angles. You are almost completely safe, and as long as you have snacks equipped, you can charge this thing even into the densest areas of enemies. Just look at it here during the Rescue Agent 14 mission. I am able to easily clear this route for my friend. The Karuma, even though it's really armored, it can be destroyed by one explosive, so you gotta watch out for that. In some missions where NPC buzzards spawn, watch out for them, because they can lock onto you and blow you up easily. However, the Karuma is such a great vehicle for getting around in heists and clearing areas. Even the Juggernauts have a hard time killing you, just be careful around them because even though it has bullet protection, it's not explosive proof. So if the Juggernauts shoot it up enough, it will explode. However, here's a tip. To easily kill Juggernauts on the Agent 14 mission, just push them into the water with the Karuma. If you do so, they will die instantly, and it's a very easy way to get rid of those Juggernauts. Before we unveil the number one best vehicle in heists, here we have a few special mentions. 
First, we have the Technical Custom, which costs 1293500 but you can get it for a trade price of $950,000 if you complete the Series A heist. In order to make it a custom vehicle, you need to upgrade it inside an MOC or an Avenger for $142,000. The Technical Custom's default gun is extremely strong, and it's a very good AA weapon. This machine gun I recommend over the minigun upgrade. It can kill NPCs and blow up cars quickly and easily shoot down NPC helicopters, as you guys see right here. Special mention number two is the laser. I know what some people are wondering, you can use jets and heists? Only in the Doomsday heist you can get jets from Fort Zancudo. If you are doing a Doomsday heist, jets will spawn at Fort Zancudo, and on some of the missions, this can come in handy greatly. Like in this one, we're doing the Kanjali mission. I took the laser from Fort Zancudo, and there's a lot of Avon's guys right down here, and I'm just taking the jet, and I'm able to easily clear them out, and even blow up the majority of the equipment in the hangar. So check out the laser guys on certain missions. If you have somebody in your heist team that's a really good pilot and you need protection, have them go and get a jet from Fort Zancudo, and they can cover you, and you can complete the mission easier. Just be very careful in this because you can parachute out, but again, it's a jet, so you can crash easily and die easily on this. But if you have somebody that knows what they're doing, they can be of great help in the laser. And number one, the Vigilante. This vehicle costs $3,750,000 with no trade price, making it the most expensive vehicle on this list. Many people do not use this vehicle in free mode, but in heist, it serves the best purposes. This vehicle is good for so many different things. It can climb and boost over mountains and hills easily, avoiding having to go around them. Its boost makes it one of the fastest vehicles in the game. Even if your objective is on the other side of the map, the Vigilante can make getting there extremely easy and fast. This means you can get the Elite Challenge done easier because you do not take as much time. Not only that, but the Vigilante has good bullet protection, making it impossible to shoot you out from the back. From the front, you can still be shot out, however, the windows are not as large as in other vehicles and it makes it harder for enemies to shoot you out. The best part about the Vigilante is its missiles. The missiles are the best in the game. They will hit any target they lock onto, even in the hardest places. They will almost never miss, and every time you lock on, you bet they will kill the enemy. The unfortunate thing is it only has 30 missiles, but if you conserve them, they can be really helpful. Just take a look at this when I clear out this airfield on the Barrage mission. Normally this airfield is a pain to clear out, but I can sit back safely out of range of enemy fire, and I can spam missiles at them. I was able to easily clear it out and help progress in the mission. The Vigilante is a very expensive vehicle, but if you do heist a lot, it's definitely worth your purchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, then subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.